Hello and welcome to the day one of uh, KKC IOS Showdown Grand Finals. We have our top teams from Bhutan and uh, Sri Lanka competing for the prize pool of $150. So as we can see, the flight path is going to be a central uh, flight path so teams can uh, comfortably uh, drop into their favorite drop locations as we speak we can see team rlx dropping into their favorite looting spot 70 and uh, we have the almost all of the top teams from uh, both of the countries uh, trying to secure a place uh, into these finals and have their hands on to this uh, $150 price pool and uh, we have the first circle shift it's oh it's gonna be a 50 50 for uh, the military base teams and uh, and the main island as we speak we have uh, macpin who's one of the most dominant and uh, strongest teams from uh, the bhutan region looting up on their looting spot rozok so uh, yeah, so there will be eight matches. So four today, and uh, there'll be four tomorrow. So teams have their time to uh, basically get used to the lobby. Maybe first couple of matches they can uh, actually get used to the lobby because it's this is a mixed lobby of uh, Bhutan and uh, Sri Lankan teams. So. Uh, Maybe we can see teams struggling in the first two matches as we speak. A bit of a cluster there in the Rozok school area since uh, three teams are looting up that area as we speak. We have three teams at Yashnya as well. Team ER looting up. So... Uh, it's gonna be a bit tough for them to find vehicles and rotate early since the since the circle shift it's the circle shift is towards uh, southwest so they would have to move as soon as possible since they have teams near them and they have to secure a vehicle as well and we have vermilion esports Looting near the areas of Yashnya, they have decided to rotate early probably because of the circle shifts. We have seen those uh, central uh, gameplays from uh, Vermilion Esports. Vermilion Esports. So, uh, as we speak, they have already secured an uh, healing point for their name as well. So, uh, So uh, Team RLX has already secured a healing point for their name and uh, Dila trying to secure a few loots for the end game. Trying to rotate early as well. They have to move inside the circle as well. 
they were, they are having a com- comfortable position right now because as we saw in the first circle shift itself uh the west i mean the left side of the map or the main island was mostly clear and we can see uh, team ce taking some uh, knocks on to team uh, bb and uh, there has been some trades as well as we speak so dila is just looting for now waiting for his teammates to uh, gather around and so that they could make the rotations as we speak so here we have team number 6 who has who has their eyes on to uh, team number yeah they have their eyes on to bb i believe those two teams are already uh, fighting and uh, they may engage in uh, third party so trying to get those pixels trying to get those damage points so we have them holding off team bb as well they have to move inside the circle as well so both teams just waiting for the first knock to be taken so podda here has decided to reposition himself to uh, get a knock or to fall back eventually since they have to move inside the circle so team number 6 trying to rotate outside of them is trying to get some shots here comes the trade knock he picked he picked so long he was way, he was asking for it so there is, there there it is team number 6 is closing in on team number 17 reaper trying to get a knock on to team number 6 but not quite there team number 6 is full sending them right now that comes to secure i believe takes few shots on to a member of team number 17 there is the reposition from uh, team number 17 there the player with the off angle would he be able to take some shots he has decided to uh, fall back find some vehicles or find an off angle to get uh, to knock on to team number 6 so they could actually uh, win this fight and uh, finally go inside the circle so uh, here's the off angle from uh, team number 17's player trying to get an angle onto the players of team number 6 who has who has just been in the same spot team number 17 has surrounded them trying to get a knock onto uh, team number 6 as we speak the circle is taking uh taking the hp from the players who has decided to take a fight outside the circle we have team number 5 fsn trying to uh take his teammate back up uh from that fight i believe yes he was able to uh pick him up and uh, we have two members of er knocked out as well circle is also closing we have fsn uh, taking the fight with the team er both teams have to move inside the circle so uh, team number 17 sorry team number 5 uh trying to trying to get a knock on to him he's just going to pick his teammate up so both teams are in vulnerable positions here since the zone is also closing and we have a uh, off angle from team number 9 from er the play of er trying to get a knock davi he's pressuring the hell out of team number 5 they can't push them because of this one off angle from team number 9 so this is a good move by them and uh, team number 5 they're trying to fall back they have no other options than to take this fight because team number team number 7 uh, the e- team number e- uh, team er is not going to let them 
pass. So here we have no note. Trying to get a knock onto the play of ER. Was he able to no? Yeah, he gets the knock. He gets another one, I believe. He's trying to get more knocks onto them. FSN, can they win this fight? Team number five. Uh, as we speak, just taking shots onto them. Yep, that is gonna be the end of uh, Team ER. So uh, Team number five, who was in a vulnerable position, but uh, who was in a vulnerable position now, they have won the fight because of that one off angle from that player no no so we all know about no no we have seen his tiktok so hopefully he will upload these clips as well as we speak we have another team vee sports trying to get some knocks on to team number five excel no he did not expect that his uh is a cover fire from uh, his teammate so excel would be revived for now both teams have to move inside the circle it's really far from them as well so it's not gonna be easy for them as well since they have already lost a member uh, in the early fight so we have to see what they are up to so uh, if you guys actually uh, followed so uh, yeah if you guys actually followed uh, PMGC last chance matches today so uh, that was an uh, incredible comeback from uh, IHC so if you guys got time you guys should uh, go and watch that last match so the teams like NGX, BTR, they couldn't qualify. So, uh, so it's going to be an interesting uh, global finals. So same like the one we are watching right now. So this is just the first match, guys. So teams are still getting used to the lobby and uh, they'll, they will change their strategies. And, uh, you know, so we have team number eight holding onto a place holding on to a mini pochinki god house near amazing pochinki they have lost a member as well but they have an alien point onto their name they have to move inside the circle as well the circle has taken a shift towards quarry that's going to be an interesting shift and we see uh, many teams holding that center uh, so the teams who have uh, rotated early so we can see uh, team kkc2d has an uh, really nice split and a really nice position inside the circle and we have rlx as well who was a bit late but they are holding that cat mountain uh, perfectly and we have uh, excel taking a few shots onto players who are rotating inside the circle so this is just stage two uh, so after this there will be some uh, hardships that we could witness so Hexel is moving inside the zone with his team leading them as an IGL trying to get, trying to get this player Hexel Hexel was able to knock down one player from team number 8 so uh, yes Wormley and Eastboard is, is going for that fight they need those kill points they are going aggressive. They already have five elimination points onto their name. So that's a big start for uh, Vermilion Esports. Uh, Vermilion Esports uh, right away. So uh, even though they they are one man down, they already have a good elimination point to start with. Elimination points to start with. So uh, we have RLX. RLX has already started the show here, trying to. Trying to hole scout the area uh, of Cat Hill, uh, trying to get more information so they could uh, work around uh, that. So uh, they 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 they're just holding the entire mountain. They're not letting any team come inside their vicinity. So uh, 
that's an interesting thing that we could see from the, the yeah the currently the top team from uh, sri lanka so they have had back to back championships championship runs recently so we speak uh, we can expect some good good strategies and gameplays on this tournament as well so we have kkc 2d who has a, who has gone for that who has gone to secure that good position inside the circle so the circle has shifted away from them but it's going to be a bit easy for them to uh, secure their position in this circle as well since uh, they have decided to play for the circle they don't have any healing points as of now so we have dila still trying to get more information to find that those free healing points to find those openings for the third party so we see the zone it has taken that hard shift so it has moved towards the right so teams who rotated early have a bit of an issue right now since team who are teams like uh, ve esports who can get a good position in circle since uh, you know the circle uh, has hard shifted towards the right so have team number 7 getting shots from uh, fe vishal i believe holding off yes decided to fall back so he can go back at it again they are not he's not on the best uh, position that he would have imagined that he would have imagined so uh, they have three elimination points now it's going to be tough for them to move inside the zone with, without the uh, support of a vehicle so Team number 18, Vishal can successfully hold them off if he plays it right. Yeah. So uh, as we speak, uh, you can see he's taking two shots at uh, teams from long distance on the mushroom tower as well. So uh, team Aralex. they are just roaming around uh, trying to get more information trying to find those elim points so they are not staying in one place so just all scouting the entire area trying to get more information so this is something that uh, top teams always do they don't stay at one place they don't try to hold the zone they try to secure the zone so the difference that most teams miss is that they rely on blind luck so uh, this is something that we could learn from uh, team rlx so trying to get more information so they can secure the zone instead of just holding the zone so you can see uh, rlx is having great control of the of that center point in the circle so teams have to go for it So we have a uh, DXG being wiped out uh, early as the fifteenth uh, team from, from the lobby. So team RA getting few shots onto the player of RLX um, from the mushroom tower. So Rising Academy might need this position uh, to play well. Maybe they. they will uh, close in on uh, rlx if they can uh, knock vishal so uh, there are only three men uh, in a grand final so not a good start from them in terms of having all four uh, attending the match so they have to play it a bit safe i believe so let's see what mindset they have uh, onto this uh, tournament as we speak the circle shifts away from uh, rising academy so they have to move they have to they have to find an opening inside the circle now they are just taking shots at uh, rlx so i believe they they just going to uh, rush towards that uh, cat mountain so they are not searching for an another opening so can, as we speak zirius is trying to 
rotate onto uh, a different side trying to get an opening inside the circle but we have players of Harlex holding that compound as well so uh, RA has decided to uh, take a hard rotation from here it's it's actually a good move from them because you know the circle hard shifted uh, uh, the circle hard shifted from where it was on the second phase so teams would be uh, there would be the teams would be le less clustered onto the side that RA is moving so they're getting shots from uh, RLX serious didn't get any damage to speak so yeah it's it'll be a bit easy for uh, rising academy to move into the circle from here so they can uh, take the barn in front but uh, let's see Yes, Zerius is going for it. So, uh, RA, that's some good zone securing, that's some good moves from them coming with just uh, three members into the game. So they were able to secure a good uh, good edge onto the, uh, onto the fourth zone. So we have uh, Excel. Does he know that Team RLX is holding on to this ridge? Does he know that? We have uh, Destro trying to get some knocks, but not really, not really able to find any uh, players. So Alex is having that good zone again. So Dila is still trying to. Uh, Gain more information. He's not staying. He's just not gonna stay in one place. He needs those skill points. He know he needs those eliminations. So we have 2D holding uh, that warehouse. So uh, if the zone shifts away from them, uh, it's gonna be a uh, hard task for them to take the fight with RLX since they have already secured good places into the zone. So as we speak. As expected, RLX is uh, destroying uh, VE Esports right now. Oh, sorry, guys, had a bit of a connection issue. So R, so RLX, as we speak, is not gonna let uh, VE get inside the circle. So getting few shots at players of KKC 2D. Alex has to move inside the circle now since the circle has shifted away. So uh, they're going for it since uh, they have Dila who has already gained enough information for them to uh, take a fight or find an opening. You know, so it is going to be that zone that the warehouse under our legs being the center point so uh, yeah so our legs has lost one player sana goes down and they have uh, four members to, uh, they have three members actually to play uh, with so they are going going for it taking the fight towards rising academy villa here with those beautiful nades, with those beautiful sprays, it's going, it's going, it's full sending them. Dila, can he, can he get serious? Was he able to get serious? Yes, and Dila. Yes, guys, as we get back to the match, we have ISS New Balance, who has been silent throughout the entire match. 
they have the best possible uh, position in the circle with three elimination points and all four players alive so i'm going to vouch for iss and luba lions to actually get the chicken dinner into this match so uh, they're defending uh, their position from players of uh, rlx so rlx is trying to secure more healing point uh, healing healing points from uh, the players who has to move inside the circle so dila as we speak trying to get few shots into the players of uh, bts bts oh my god bts has been silent in this entire match as well so we have two good teams from sri lanka trying to uh, play it off with the circle we have uh, seven teams alive and we have bts issl issl no balance and we have rlx esports we have three very good teams from sri lanka so we have rlx who are aggressive throughout the entire match and we have two teams who are silent playing for the zone so bts has decided to crash towards issl warehouse so they are they are just going for that blind full send on to this they are smoking they are getting shots from all over the place so uh rocky with that slither of hp rocky cyrex is trying to revive them so uh, one side they are getting naded from iss no balance and rlx is uh, getting shots at them as well so as we speak destro is going for that push maybe he yes this is not looking good for bts now they will get naded from rlx as well so uh so they i i believe they pushed a little bit early early on so they could have delayed the push a bit so we have top 3 teams from sri lanka holding uh, on to that small place lucifer here gets a knock on to bts so so as we see that uh, bts is getting destroyed here cyrex the last man so uh, is trying to hold off nope that is it for uh, bts esports dila uh, rlx esports with that final lane to the coffin to bts mafia so uh, yes it is going to be team issl oh my god they have been silent in the entire match they secured the circle somehow with the prime position in, inside that uh, circle so issl with uh, 10 elimination points set them up uh, they have they have set themselves up onto the leaderboard onto this grand final so they have 20 points uh 20 good points to start with and we have rlx esports they didn't uh, get the chicken dinner but you know they have uh, nine elimination points so so it was good from uh, both teams so still the teams who couldn't do well in this match so as i said this is just the day one match one so they'll get used to the lobby they'll change their strats so we can uh, expect some comebacks from the teams from uh, bhutan as well so let's uh, see what happens so stay tuned guys we'll be back with uh, match number 2 
Hello guys, welcome back to the second match of uh, KKC IO showdown. So uh, this is gonna be Miramar. It's a different kind of map, and uh, as you know, teams will be having different kinds of strategies. So uh, this flight path is a bit troubling for teams who have drops uh, on the north hand side of the map. So. Uh, Let's see how uh, teams would uh, adjust and uh, collect their drop locations. So, as we talk about the match, the previous match, so, you know, uh, ISSL, so, uh, they were silent throughout the entire match until phase 4 or 5. Then they started getting uh, elimination points. They got the zone. This is something that ISSL always gets. I mean, most of the time. So, you know, they have they it's just because their way of taking zone, it's good. They they can easily like the experience, it comes with experience. So so yeah, that was a good match from ISSL. They they are on the lead right now. And uh, we can see teams who couldn't perform well in the last match, they, they'll they be getting used to the lobby more. So they still have seven matches left, including this. So they still have the chance at the championship. So it's a good prize pool. It's a grand prize pool of $150. So more than that. So the experience that they gain from the tournament in such a lobby in... Uh, in a such a well conducted way so that matters the most so that's what Sri Lanka needs the most as well so we see team number 10 uh, looting uh, Monte I believe so I guess so and uh, they're safe for now they're just uh, chilling looting uh, what they need they must be good for now so and uh, one thing that we could uh, see in the pmgc coming up uh, next month so so let me know your uh, views on the teams that have already qualified so you know dx who has been inconsistent uh throughout the tournament they finished uh, on the top spot in uh, in the last chance the survivor stage so we have a uh, kkc2d going for elim points they are trying to clear their drop so they are well known for dropping in well in malaria so they have already secured a player from team number six it's not looking good for them they know how to play this uh, drop location they know how to play in well delmar so they have already surrounded them so we have that off angle from the player of kkc 2d so uh, it's not looking good for team number six so they're in a tough position right now uh, have two left the uh, kkc 2d is not letting that slip he gets a knock on to kkc 2d and it's gonna be the last player of team number six remaining he is far away he is he's gonna he's gonna come for the uh, full send so we have two members knocked out damn we have two mem two members knocked out from uh, kkc 2d clumsy clumsy is not going for the revive he's, he's trying to defend this team from clumsy is also no it's gonna be no fear he is going to secure all the kills no no fear no fear is going for the revive he's going for the safe gameplay here comes the rush from team number six no fear puts the nail to the coffin so uh, it's gonna be uh, kkc 2d but they almost choked the entire fight here two players from team number six and that one last cameo performance from that last play of team number six almost 
wiped out KKC 2D. So this is uh, they could have avoided this man loss as well. So maybe a lack of communication. So had these types of issues. So they are good for now. They have a good zone as well. They they don't have to worry about uh, many things right now. They have four elimination points. So we have FSN uh, trying to get the loot. Yeah, they have to move quite a bit inside the circle. So not that much as well. So they they're going for that uh, edge play style like we witnessed in an angle. So they were taking fights outside the zone. So so yeah, they are adapting their play style to this lobby as well. So as we speak, so in these types of uh, circles, so the teams who are who have dropped in Monte, they have a good chance. So they it's a bit of a risk actually. So they won't get many elim points. Like they won't get many kills because. So if they didn't have a drop fight, they are in the center. They can hold that Monte Ridge, try to get some elimination points. So it's a bit of a risk for them. High risk, high reward, I'd say, because if the zone keeps on shifting towards them, so the teams will be almost easy kills for them since they can hold that uh, ridge line on uh, Monte. They can control the entire area. So... It's either a high kill, high points game for them, or it's just gonna be a uh, lack, la lackluster game or uh, too soon. So we have ISSL uh, drop down to their favorite drop location, Hacienda. They're silent for now, just gathering around loot, trying to find a vehicle. Or no, it's gonna be Mamata scouting the area for loot. Or to uh, secure good position inside the circle. So yeah, he's just ga gathering information as a scout, trying to set the rotation path for the team. So as we see, we have a bit of a cluster on the top uh, side of the map. So KKC 2D can easily, I think they should rotate now and take a good position inside the circle. So we have RLX, who had a what a decent match so it's not what they would have expected like they would have expected for a chicken dinner but it wasn't a bad game for them they got like uh, 15 points onto that uh, from that match so moving on they are they're still not trying they are still looting and not trying to en they are not trying to engage in uh, any combats as of now yeah, yeah, they're they're just chill. So they didn't uh, go for a uh, quick central rotation. Now they are they're just rotating normally, uh, clearing uh, compound by compound and uh, securing area inside the zone. So as we speak, uh, we have many teams on the edge of the circle. Not many teams are preferring center into uh, in uh, coming into uh, miramar so, so we can uh, yeah we can see teams getting more adapted towards the circle so as we speak we have team macmin who has looted minas they they're rotating late really late uh, because stage two has already formed and uh, they are they're leaving the drop location just now so they have decided to rotate late but they might get into the rotation path of team number seven since they have also decided to rotate late now as we speak momo kenny is he gonna get down and get some shots into these players he's going for it he gets one knock, secures the kill, trying to get more information on where the other players are. No, nope, he's just gonna go for it. He's just moving. So, oh, he's the player. Momo trying to get the knock with just, with just 5 HP. 
play of team number 7 escapes into the zone so we have one player of team number 7 holding uh, still holding on to that warehouse to make pen know that there is a player here so yes the circle shifts towards uh, monte so no macpen is going after the last player who who couldn't go inside the circle team number 7 oh okay it was yep it was really unfortunate for the player of team number 7 here so the last two remaining players of team number 7 who just escaped the slaughter from uh, the late rotation uh, kings uh, macpin so they are trying to escape from them uh, it's it's looking clear for them um their first uh, what it would be bb or rlx so all the teams have already secured good positions inside inside the circle uh, more central position as well so bb taking a fight against the uh, Rising Academy 2D is playing a cameo as well. So the nade from Porta will it connect? No, oh, it goes a bit far. Let's see how it goes. So team number 17, Porta is going forward. Porta, Porta gets taken down from Zerius. So Rising Acad Academy is fighting back for that uh, central portion inside the circle. So Zerius trying to get a knock on to. Uh, Team number seventeen again. Can he? Can he do that? So, oh, my BBs. He peeks. He's knocked. Is he gonna peek? He knows that Zerius has pinned him. He's trying to get a different type of peek so he could get a knock. Zerius. Zerius has decided to fall back. They have lost a member. So they have retaliated a bit, and uh, they are they are in between of between two teams. So uh, it's better to uh, just hold it off and play. So we can see it's a cluster into the center. Alex has secured that Monte warehouse position, and uh, they are playing a split. You can see that lovely split from Alex there. Got to love them for those splits. So, yep, we have 15 teams alive. Into phase two, we have almost, almost all the teams alive. Only two, only three teams have uh, have gone out so far. And we have team number 11. They are not having a good day at all. So. Uh, So yeah, perfect again. Gets a knock on to Rising Academy. So Rising Academy is not in a good spot here. Tracks and Zerius has to be really careful uh, with what they do since they have a 2D. And uh, team number 17 has decided to take a different. Pushing inside the circle, I believe they are. They are moving, and they are trying to get a different pushing inside the circle. So they have decided to move since uh, they saw a different team engaging with the team that they were fighting for. Seal nine trying to get some um, shots on them, not possible. So we have uh, BTS. Oh no! So DXG couldn't. Uh, Control the Monte Hill, so BTS has uh, secured the Monte Hill. So this is gonna be a good game for BTS uh, Esports, BTS Mafia. They have secured a good position inside the circle as well. So as the circle is uh, closing, as the ring is closing, uh, teams who are outside of the circle, oh, team number seven. Uh, They're having a bit of unfortunate things happening to them. So as you can see, the zone is eating them up. Oh no, no! This is going to be a BTS game, bro. BTS Mafia is going to get this 
going to get the chicken dinner in this game. So look at their positioning in this circle. Not sure why DX she couldn't uh, take that hill. So uh, RLX also has the zone, but PTS Mafia with that lovely position. DXG is holding inside Monte, not what they would have expected. And uh, we have DXG trying to trying to uh, engage as well. And uh, we have BTS getting uh, uh, yeah, getting uh, pressured from both sides, I believe. Uh, KKC BB the Shield uh, is also pressuring BTS. And uh, teams from inside Monte also getting shots on them. So uh, we have another team joining the party. So it's MVP Sports also uh, pressuring on to uh, BTS Mafia. BTS Mafia has to be silent here. So Hate gets a trade. Hate, Hate gets a retaliation knock on to MVP Sports. So insane is picking himself up. So no, that's that's really unfortunate for MVP Sports. They lose member here. Sam with that last HP. So uh, they came in for the third party, and we have Hate here closing in into MVP Sports all alone. But does Hate has in his mind? Head is going for that nade. Will he be able to get that knock? No. It's gonna fall short. Since MVP Esports have segregated themselves up onto this position, so it's gonna be hard for Head to get a knock from a nade. So it's not looking easy for Head. So we have MVP Esports now closing in towards Head. So you hate has to retaliate now. What is hate gonna do now? Since the three members of MVP Sports take down hate, Cyrex with the trade knock. So here comes the teammate Rocky for the revive. Cyrex has to hold MVP Sports now. Insane getting few shots into Cyrex. Will he be able to knock Cyrex out here? Nope, nope, nope. They are still holding, they are delaying the fight. Hate gets. Head is back up on his feet right now. Head is falling back. No, he is cooking a grenade. He's trying to get that player of MVP esports. Nope, it's not gonna connect. Head going for another nade. Trying to get the knock. Will he be able to? Yes, here comes a knock from Head. It's gonna be insane all by himself for MVP esports. Will he be able to? Will he be able to get the knocks? Will he be able to secure? Nope. Oh, gets a knock. Gets a knock onto hate. Insane is going for that. Insane is going to get going for that one v one. No, Cyrus. Cyrus with the support. Insane gets Rocky. He's gonna secure them. Cyrus. No, Cyrus. Cyrus, why did you shoot him with the DBS, my man? Could have got him easily with the M4. He just went right in front of you. Oh. Insane almost pulled that off. I wish Insane didn't go for the secure points. So, so securing kills is more important in qualifiers rather than in grand finals because you would get a passion point and more kills if you actually finish the team instead of just thirsting and dying in front of their power fire, you know. So your RLX Esports now uh, portions themselves up uh, in a different way. They have gone a bit central as well <clears throat> towards the warehouse Monte, warehouse of Monte. So Monte Ridge, I believe. Yeah. So they have all four members uh, up, and this is not a typical uh, RLX gameplay. So they have no elim points. So RLX is a team who. Who we have known for their aggression, who just goes for the dealium point. So FSN is taking a fight with uh, DXG. So they have uh, rushed DXG, I believe, into uh, Monte. So FSN was playing the edge. So BTS has four elimination points and a good position in the circle. 
they lost their utilities and uh, health onto their armor and helmets so you know that will be a factor in the last circle as well we have uh, the last surviving member of team number 7 making it inside the zone somehow trying to get some points we have 13 teams alive now we have uh, kkcbb who has a good position as well so fsn who is who is playing h2h has uh, has a bit of a trouble right now because of the shift onto uh, onto the hill so it's phase 4 it's going to be hard for them if they stay outside the zone and macpen has also moved inside the circle so arlex has a good zone so dila is playing alone with all three members holding off the ridge so dila is holding on to different place so as i told you in match number 1 so we have known uh, we we know arlex for those splits plays uh, plays that they do securing the zone so yeah so it is not looking good for fsn since they have to so yeah as you can see they are getting taken down one by one from players who are holding off the edge so uh, yes it's a tough match for fsn sidex now trying to spot the last remaining player of team number 7 and we have hit oh we this is too alive for team number 7 it no it gets taken out direct is trying to cover direct takes a knock nope the kill point has been taken away from sidex sidex is trying to uh, hit the knock so as we see bts is pose as completely sold this match and uh, sidex is uh, was a bit late to uh, revive hate here and uh, we have team number 7 trying to get shots on to sidex here goes the back tire sidex is 1 hp will he be able to spot sidex up sidex sidex mm, that <laughs> that tree that damn tree is going to give sidex a bit of extra time to live and we have team number 10 pushing into uh, this compound uh, do we have anyone here yes we do have team number 8 here with that nade will he be able to get a knock on to them nope no connect we have to move inside the circle in 30 seconds team number 10 gets knocked here team number 10 no going for that so yep Here comes the wipe. Three players have been knocked out uh, onto that fight, so it's going to be Pasia. He has to revive everyone up. He has 15 seconds to do that and move inside the circle as well. So, as we can see from the mini map, so might be able, they might be able to uh, move inside the circle. So those three compounds, those three compounds are still empty inside the circle. So we have uh, we when we see the kill field we have uh, ISSL has been uh, engaging with Vermin and Esports and we have uh, Arlex taking shots at uh, ISSL so uh, it's an interesting uh, fight happening over there ISSL is getting shots from Macpen as well so Arlex Amata gets knocked from the nade from Sana it's going looking good for ISSL now they just have two members surviving Arlex Arlex are they going to pressure them No Arlex is going after a different team they are going after Macpen now they are holding on to Macpen now Macpen has to move into the circle No Momo gets Momo gets knocked from that spray from Dila Pasta trying to get an angle and trying to get a knock on to Arlex it's not going to work they have to move inside the circle now members of Arlex are just waiting for them to move and we see Macpen uh, Oh, they are they are a bit separated right now. Sana trying to get the knock from the nade. 
Will he be able to do that? Yes. RLX. RLX is not letting MacPen inside this circle. Sana gets knocked from the nade from MacPen. Lovely nade coming up from Illusio. MacPen is full sending them now. No, no. Dila, Dila denies. Sana gets knocked. And uh, they came for the full send. Dila denies the rush. So Destro gets the gets Illusio as well. It's gonna be two members of MacPen going against three members of RLX. They have to move inside the circle now. Pasta here trying to get a knock. Trying to get the knock of that man. The myth, Dila. Going for the nade. Will he be able to do that? Will he be able to do that? Nope. Nope. And we have the surviving members of ISSL sneaking inside the circle slowly. Will Jimmy get... No, Jimmy is just gonna go for the circle. No! Oh no! Our leg spots him up. Mm, no. What was that? No. Jimmy? Jimmy is the last member alive for ISSL. He has to move inside the circle now. Nope. RLX doesn't allow them to do so. MacPen with a bit of repositioning now is troubling RLX. Take Sana down. Sana is no more for RLX right now. MacPen. MacPen somehow came out of that dark situation and now they are engaging into a different fight with Rising Academy. So we have our top five teams right now. We have RLX who are a bit who are, who are in a bit of trouble right now since they are on the low ground. MacPen is not gonna let them come uh, on top of the hill. So, yep. And we have KKC2D still surviving and uh, having a position inside the circle as well. No fear. He's holding off, uh, holding off for uh, KKC2D as we speak. And we have Rising Academy. Who has that uh, hilltop onto the circle as well? But they have to move inside as we speak. And uh, yep, the circle is circle will be closing in uh, 20 seconds as we speak. And uh, so let's see what happens to the teams who are uh, who, ha who has to take the circle. So Dila and Vishal. They have to move inside the circle. What are they planning? Yeah, they're taking taking few shots at Illusio. Illusio has to go inside the circle. Zone is eating himself up. Illusio tries to get Destro's knock, but nope. The cover fire is on point. So yes, that's it for MacPen, and uh, we are we have our top three teams right now. Uh, Rising Academy is, is also taken out. So we have the last member of KKC2D and we have uh, RLX Esports and uh, we have DXG. So uh, let's see who can get the chicken dinner. So RLX Esports, do we only have Dila for them? No, they have two members. So it's going to be Vishal and Dila. So it's a 1v, 1v, 2. So, uh, as we know, Alex has the member advantage, but they have to move inside the circle. They have to climb the hill up. So will Nofia take some shots? Will he be able to get a player from Alex here? Ruin the game for them. If Alex secures the chicken dinner on this match, they'll be on top of the table. That's a great, consistent performance coming up from Alex. So they have been in top three on uh, both the matches. So that's some really good consistency from uh, Harlex so 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 far if we see so Sri Lanka is um, dominate has dominated both of the matches so the top three teams alive are also from Sri Lanka so uh, the teams the players have decided for the circle to decide the winner so they are holding till the circle closes Oh, there comes a knock from uh, Vishal. So it's going to be a 1v2 for no fear. Does he know? Is it a 1v2? Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. No. 
Trying to get, trying to get a knock. Nothing really connects. Nothing really connects. RLX, Dira with the Molto. It's gonna be RLX Esports with the chicken dinner. They denied MacPen from get keeping them, and uh, they come out on top. So uh, that was that was a good performance from RLX. If you see the way they approached the zone, how they altered that uh, uh, warehouse from uh, Monte, and then uh, how they get keep MacPen, and how they actually. Uh, ended the match. They waited for the zone to close in. They gathered information, and you know, so it's gonna be a not on the upper hand uh, type of match for RLX because, as you know, RLX always go for that elim point. So having an eight kills chicken dinner is not what RLX does. But anyways, so congratulations for RLX for getting the chicken dinner onto. Miramar and uh, we have KKC 2D with five nation points, finishing on uh, top two. So that was no fear. Who pulled it out for them? So and we have DXG with uh, seven million points, finishing at hashtag three. So stay tuned, guys. We'll be back with uh, the third match of the day. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll be back soon. See you.
Owner of Baloda. Okay. Oh, it's okay, man. Let's go, man. Hello and uh, welcome back to the match number three of uh, KKC IOS Showdown. So we had a couple of yeah, we had a couple of uh, interesting matches that went on, and uh, so uh, this is gonna be a Shannok match. Shannok, Shannok always, uh, you know makes things interesting so the rotations and the, the play style is different from the other two maps on shannok so we have vehicles will matter a lot in shannok and it's hard to find them so the flight path doesn't matter in shannok as far as that's concerned so teams can spread out very well and uh, as we can see we can see a good spread out in the map as well, and uh, we have uh, the esports going to boot camp, engaging in an early fight. They have been aggressive throughout uh, the start. Gifu, try to get a knock here. Will he be able to get a knock? Yes, gets a knock, and uh, flashes him out. So it's it's a fight between uh, ER and uh, VE. So the typical uh, boot camp fight. And uh, yeah, the other teams have. Uh, uh, they have gone for their typical uh, drop locations. So, you know. Here we go. ER. ER gets in now. Oh, no. No. Just gonna be the solo member for ER. I know. It gets gets a knock on HD. Here comes the trade from VE Sports. So uh, with four early elimination points, is VE looking for a comeback right now? So they had a pretty decent start on match number one, but couldn't uh, really utilize that uh, because of uh, RLX on the match number one so they get keeps them as we know so we have ISSL also taking a fight with the team from Bhutan here two members of ISSL go down and we have BTS sneaking sneaking here trying to get a knock on to players of uh... no ISSL is wiped out yes that was it for ISSL, so ISSL going uh, early in this match as well. So, we have two teams fighting here at uh, Hathin, it's DXC and uh, Rising Academy. Rising Academy had a decent game, uh, two decent games, so... And uh, DXC finished hashtag 3 onto the last match. Both teams have... Uh, at casualties, so it's just two members of Rising Academy going against three members of DXG Sports. So it's just gonna be serious for himself. He has to do this for his team. He has to clutch DXG out to to get some points in his match. Hopefully survive till the end. He has to so he have to move inside the circle as well. Um, let's see how he approaches. Serious is just holding on here to the players of uh, DXG. You know that Serious is here. Madhu, just a 1v2 for Zerius though, can he do that, can he pull that out for his team, so Zerius, uh, Zerius is going for it, 
He's going for the smoke. He's trying to pick his teammate up, but DXG has started pressuring him. They are closing into Zerius now. They will be pushing Zerius soon, but they are hesitating. These kinds of small uh, hesitations will actually cost them a lot. So here we go. DXG pulls in Zerius. Zerius takes one down. Zerius with that, with that beautiful clutch onto DXG. Oh, bro, that was that was really like. Fabulous from Zerius right there with that with that crazy clutch onto them. It was clear one way to face to face. Zerius saves the day for Rising Academy. So that was a very unexpected clutch from Zerius as well. And as we speak, we we see no teams at Pinan. And uh, the zone has, has favored the side of Pinan as well. And we have BTS. Trying to clear team number six here. They have lost a member. Hate going down, and here we go. Demon gets knocked as well. This is not looking good for BTS now. I think they are lacking a bit of synergy, I believe, here. They could have had a good uh, healing points. Uh, they could have easily get kept uh, team number six here, but they are missing out on synergy, I believe. Yes. We saw the same in. Uh, the Miramar match as well. So BTS, Cyrex and Rocky, they are just just gonna fall back and uh, hold off a different area right now. So uh, as we speak, so it's pretty interesting to see how consistent RLX has been uh, throughout the two matches. So we esports who dropped into boot camp going to take control under the boot camp hill they could be a good vital um, checkpoint in this zone as well and we have a uh, bb taking the fight with team number seven who didn't who didn't have a good start as we speak and uh, as you can see one member of him is knocked out as well so the esports has decided to go to the triangle and take their rotation from that side. Tifu is leading the rotations now. Tifu heard gunshots from that side. Tifu is going to have a look at them and uh, possibly destroy the Shandok match for team number seven as well as they are vulnerable there. Team number seven is retaliating. Gets a knock on to BB. Gets knocked back again. So, oh, yes. Reaper secures that point. Tifu is running. He is running. He is trying to get the tangle. He needs those knocks. So, yep. That's it for team number seven. And uh, KKCBB has secured four elimination points early in the match. So, but they have one problem though. That is VE Sports. So, they didn't expect a team to sneak in so fast. So, they knew that they were taking fight with the team that was initially holding off this area. But they didn't know a different team would close in so quickly. So, it was a surprise. Ambush knock from V Esports there. Takes another one down. Is V gonna full send them here? Confirms Reaper. They don't have the vehicles to... Uh, Make the rotations. V Esports is closing in. Are they going to close in? Yes, they are going aggressive. That's some good aggression from V Esports. From the start of the tournament, they have been aggressive, and we can clearly see they are taking that aggressive approach onto this, on into this match as well. Tira getting shots here. He, what a great cover fire coming on from HD there. Yep, keeps cover firing them. Kavya. Is moving inside. No, Tira gets knocked from Worry BB from that surprise. And yep. It's not looking good for BB here. Javier is going for the revive. No, he is not going for the revive. He's gonna go for the kills. Worry. Worry has no worries of letting his teammates go. He's just gonna fall back. Bye. <laughs> he's like, bye. So, because 
Blazeman points. The points are more important for him than his teammates. So just gonna go back and then find an opening into the circle and secure more points. So uh, V Esports, this team has six elimination points. Trying to get more as well. It's a pretty good start to have in Shannock. And uh, they are still finding more. <laughs> they are trying to find the last player of KKCBB. And we have team number six with six elimination points as well. They cleared ISSL out of the lobby. So ISSL had a good start. Um, they didn't really do much in the last two matches. So we have to see how the point table is. I'm damn sure that Alex is Alex will be on top of the table, that's for sure. We have to see how the teams from Bhutan would uh, come back into the game. We have FSN Esports, they are in a central position going against, going against team number 6. No, he didn't connect any bullets of his DBS there. That is gonna cost him a lot and FSN Reborn gets eliminated way early in the match. We have MacPen here with three early kills holding on to the small reach in uh, Camp Charlie. Chilling for now. They have the zone. Life is good for them. So, yep. And as you see the circle, teams have uh, decided to go central this time, but no teams have chosen Pinan. That's surprising to see that teams have chosen to avoid Pinan. So that is a checkpoint or that is a place that teams would hold uh, into this match. Uh, I mean, into zones like this. So it's a bit surprising to see. And we have RLX Esports playing it chill, slow. <clears throat> They're not going over aggressive. There's 32 uh, players alive, and uh, RLX doesn't have any healing points as of now. So, this is not a typical uh, RLX gameplay that we are, we are used to. Uh, like, RLX healing points. So, that's what we have seen, but they are taking a different approach into this coming into this tournament. I believe they are playing it safe and secure. So Pinan is still in zone. It's in a good. Uh, Pinan is still a good position inside the zone. But uh, let me tell you something, guys. So in Shannok, it's always better to hold um, ridges or mountains or open areas because the Zone ending in a compound is very less likely in Shannok, the last zone. So it's very it's very less likely to end in a compound. So yep, Arlex is taking that into account, I guess. They have a good position inside the zone because if the zone shifts towards the pine and hill instead of pine and Arlex can uh, secure a good Question. So we have KKC2D who finished hashtag 2 under the last match. So they are trying to get some points into this match as well. Trying to get more points so they can climb up the leaderboard. So Alex Esport has secured the hill. They have secured the pine and hill. So it seems so effortless. How they have timed their rotation so effortlessly they have taken the best central position inside this third zone so that is what differentiates the champ team from the runners up or whatever so yeah let's see how Alex uh, performs into this match as we see a 2D uh, getting few shots at uh, the other teams. Team number six, I believe, they are trying to get some uh, shots into MacPen as well. They have three elimination points for now. They have the circle. 
They have a gin onto the hill of uh, Camp Charlie. Trying to get some bullets onto the play of McPen. Hits! No. Hit. Hits denies. That was, was something from Hits. Didn't expect that. He was stepping, so Hits was like, okay, hold up. Here's my spray. So, uh, McPen is. Uh, Closing in. Interesting stuff from McPen here. Three members of McPen are closing into 2D now. Nofi has to hold this off alone. Will he be able to hold this off alone? Will he be able to do that? Will he get the backup on time? Lucio here. Nofi has... Damn, Nofi has secured hits here. That is going to delay the touch of McPen now. Nofi here. No fear, has, no fear, yes, he's holding off McPen here. Clumsy gets taken down from Ilusio. No fear, trying to get the knock on to Ilusio as well. Nope, it's not going to work. And we have... We have uh, team number six. Down to just one surviving, solo surviving member with eight elimination points. This could have been a massive game for them, but... Lost so many members. So here we go. Ilusio takes two down. Takes C9 and... And no fear. It's just perfect himself. Okay, KC 2D here. No! Why did they choke this match? Okay, so... McPin with their experience with their experience literally came out of something that that would have uh, ended their survival in this match. So McPen is surviving with seven elimination points. So just 24 players alive and uh, we have Alex Esports. Taking action here, we have team number 15, Rising Academy, two members of Rising Academy. Zirius is trying to secure a position inside the zone, but RLX has that lovely split day that they usually do. It's not going to be easy for anyone to uh, move into RLX as we speak. Zeus gets taken down from a spray from Destro. So... Uh, MVP Esports is also holding on to that compound for now. So stage 4 is closing right now. And Destro is trying to get... Uh, trying to get... Um, trying to, yeah, trying to focus on MVP Esports. So here we have Sana. Getting few shots on the team number 11. Player. Yes. Yes. Is he gonna knock him? Yep. That's it for... Uh, that team, uh, BBXP, I believe, they didn't have the best start. Three matches, not looking good. They still have that one match that they could come back. Hopefully, they go back into their groups, talk what has happened, and uh, fix that. And we have the two surviving members of BTS Esports, Rocky and Cyrex. And uh, they are... They have decided to go inside Pinan and stay the whole stay inside Pine and, and hold his zone for now. Speaking about zone shifts, so so since they are holding on to Pine and, and if the zone shifts to a spine hill it that will be a bit hard for them since they, they only have Two members, so it's not going to be easy for them to cover fire and you know, uh, make inside the zone as we speak. The zone has shifted, so it has favored Pine and more now. So, uh, BTS Esports still have a lifeline, it's not the two zone yet, just seven teams alive out of the 18 teams. We have Mark Pen 
they have made themselves inside the circle tifu tifu gets it knock on to rlx right now so uh, we have team number 10 as well trying to uh, get themselves inside the zone so uh, so we go, we esports it's a knock on to rlx esports so i think rlx for the time to pick uh, shall up so destro gets knocked again we esports is taking the fight for fight with rlx rlx has to move inside the circle i believe and uh, yeah so we esports has taken uh, the edge of pine and do they know that bts players are behind them and sana secures hd so it's going to be two members of v esports who has to defend all four members of rlx rlx has to move inside the circle so bts has the zone they still have the zone and uh, dila is going for that hill battle strats is not going to move into the circle now so vishal has made himself not yet inside the circle he has to move 22 meters inside the circle so rlx is to engage with everyone who's inside pine and they are taking shots at mvp esports now who has moved inside pine and as well not fully though but yes they have moved inside pine and as well so uh, dila will be rest so our leg still have four members up with two elimination points and as you can see we have the last member of uh, we have two members of the esports they have to yep tida gets a knock on to dila tida has to do it alone tifu is secured and uh, yeah vishal is trying to uh, you know take the last member of the esports out of this match but he, it's did uh, denies to go easy is holding off uh, the entire rlx team so yep rlx no destro Destro gets shots from MVP Sports now. Alex is in a bit of trouble now. Sana is taken down as well. Vishal is going for that revive. Dila has to do something. Sana is dead. So uh, they have to move inside the circle now. They have to cross the river. It's not going to be easy for them to cross the river. BTS Sports who was vulnerable early in the match has a good zone right now. It, the zone is inside pine and as we speak mvv sports is moving towards that other side of the river and yes they they made it no nope. nope yes there goes tida so uh, it's not a bad game for v sports since they had good elim points and we have our top four teams alive our legs has to move inside the circle and we have bts with really good control inside the circle they have the zone for themselves but seemed like a two zone for them they did the right thing pinen was empty they took pinen now it has paid them off they have four points secured right now so our lex crossing the river it's not going to be easy as i said the player from mvp sports who was doing that heel battle strat takes down dila this throw here i need to get knock nothing really connect so nothing nothing really he could do he has crossed the river though he has to do it for arlex arlex is having another great match right now since they have been consistent they are in the top 3 like for the past two matches as well So, yep. 
as you speak we have bts esports defending against the push that's that's coming from rlx trying to defend the threat and uh, we have mvp esports who is having a great match now we haven't seen their name on top 3 uh, on the last uh, on the previous two matches so that that displays how shanno can change the leaderboard so mvp esports they have uh, two members alive they have to move inside the circle now rlx has already engaged with bts esports so uh, no one is knocked yet so there goes the first knock wax gets taken out and that's it for mvp esports it's going to be a 2v3 2v3 for two cyrus with the cyrus is going for the secure gets this throw gets taken down it's going to be rocky rocky has to do that for 1v2 now cyrus should have gone for the other player instead he went for the thirst that cost him now rocky rocky trying to uh, trying to get a knock is it going to be easy for rocky nope nope rocky with just one hp rocky moves up he has a, he has the destual k he can get a knock if if he actually hits that but it's not going to be easy since rx players they are pushing together dila here dila is not rushing things up he knows how powerful rocky and an destual k would go so rocky jumps down going for that no no rocky no rx esports with that she can win again with 10 elimination points this time so uh, is it too easy for them like actually but yes cyrex should have gone for the other knock instead of going for the secure so it would have been easy for rocky even if he got knocked so nice try from uh, bts esports as well but looked like it too soon they have uh, somehow redeemed themselves up with five elimination points and finishing at uh, second place so we have mvp sports new team coming up on top so they have four elimination points and they are finishing at the third spot so uh, so yeah as i said shanok has definitely changed the point table a bit but there is this one team rlx esports who still remains on top it will be interesting to see how this day ends now the teams have already settled themselves up so they just have uh, one last game for today so somehow they have to change the tables uh, or just secure a few points so when they start playing tomorrow they'll have a foundation to play with so yes we'll catch you guys on match number 4 Stay tuned. We are going to take a small break. So, yep, stay tuned.
ऑफर हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द फोर्थ एंड द फाइनल मैच ऑफ डे वन ऑफ के के सी आई ओ एस चैंपियनशिप एंड इट हैज बीन द पास्ट थ्री मैच हैज बीन रियली इंटरेस्टिंग मैच हैज बीन रियली इंटरेस्टिंग विथ सम टीम्स बीइंग रियली कंसिस्टेंट एंड सम टीम्स कमिंग अप ऑन टॉप तो as we move on to the fourth and the most crucial match of the day i would say the flight path uh, is favoring uh, the teams who are dropping um, on the top on the north side of the map so as we speak we can see a good spread uh, going on uh, in the map uh, in the map as well so as we see r lexi sports Wait for their favorite drop, uh, Savani. It has worked out for them. And uh, yeah, so so since the flight path is more towards the north, yeah, more towards the north side. So if the zone shifts to the south, let's say it's going to be a military base zone. So you can actually. based on your drop you can actually uh, plan your rotation on what time you can rotate so as we can speak as we speak we have uh, we have a casualty on mvp sports mvp sports uh, has taken the fight with uh, with team number three teams uh, over there with team number 16 and we have team number 11 trying to engage as well MVP Sports Esports has lost a member and Insane is knocked as well. They had a good game la. They had a good last game, but they have to win this drop fight. It's a 50-50 zone. Uh, again, can be a 50-50 zone as well. They are going to push the last player, I mean the player of team number 10, solo player getting few shots on to Zeus but it's not going to be enough so uh, insane has been secured so is going to be a fair we do fight now Zeus with a beautiful knock on to the play of team number 10 mv sports is is going on to that and Zeus put the final nail to the coffin and that's it for team number 10 i hope they analyze the matches today and find a drop that they could uh, that that would be less clustered so uh, mvp sports secures four points they lost two players but do they know that there's another team waiting for them to come out of <laughs> where they are so uh, yes let's see uh, how the attack line would be oh no uh, sam has already spotted team number 11 so they will be more secure mvp sports as to move inside the circle as well since uh, it's a bit far but just phase one so don't be an uh, issue for now so so uh, We saw team ISSL getting the first chicken dinner, but unfortunately, uh, couldn't do much to the into uh, the previous two matches. So we see Macpin taking a fight with uh, a team. Oh, team number six has contested Macpin here. MGS has contested Macpain, but the team from Water City Rising Academy has also decided to take few shots on to Macpain, but nope. Lafay is just gonna fall back. So uh, and we see BTS Esports with that lovely split float near the bridge. So that's a good position to be in, in inside this zone. and mcpen with one elimination points and uh, they have team number 
they have closed in onto the squad squad house area of uh, Rosok. So McPen has to has to do something because the once uh, Rising Academy takes control of the of the Rosok kill, if they do instead of uh, rotating into the zone and uh, getting good position inside the zone, if they uh, decide to hold McPen, it's going to be hard for them because team number team number six can actually move out, but MSG that wasn't what he was expecting so he doesn't know where the backpen players were so really hard to rescue him from this position so team number six can actually fall back from this fight but now MacPen is gonna rush them so it's gonna be panda's duty to defend the players of MacPen. that nade would have got him but it was a mistime nade so a little bit more time to live or clutch as we have already seen a pretty good one we two from um our serious so might as well see one right now oh. this speak interesting to see how macpen is using the utilities instead of just pushing the player because they don't know where the one player from he decided to take shots. Finals gets knocked onto Momo. It's just one HP from that cover fire. But what is he gonna do? Do we have healables? He does have healables. Pasta now pinning the player of team number 10. Uh, yep. Team number 6. Uh, yep. Uh, pinning the player of team number 6. And uh, Highness decides to fall back a bit. Pasta sneaking into the grass, trying to get this player so they could finish this fight. And Momo has been Momo has been secured, and it's just going to be Highness for himself over oh, uh, Team Number Six. Not gonna be easy for him to hold that tower line. Because very less cover and MacPen again with that wonderful 4v4 securing 4 elimination points early on the match. They lose Memo though. So, as we speak, if you notice the kill feed, BTS Rocky has been finished off near Miltai from the Milta team. So, uh, RLX. Alex is uh, just behind DXG. So both teams are rotating at the same time. Did Alex so DXG go? Yes, Jal is taking a few shots. Vicky is taken out. They don't miss those sprays. So that's going to be one free, easy, early elimination point for Alex Esports. So they are planning on that um, massive chicken dinner that they usually have during uh, during their run you know so TXG has to forget what has happened and uh, they have to move inside the circle that's what the IGL Neta is gonna do I believe so yep he is rotating towards the center of the circle so as we speak the first circle is shifting right now so let's see how the circle forms and which teams will get good position so uh, team number five uh, fsn reborn so this team has pretty good experienced players so they are taking a fight with v sports again Tifu is taken down and DXG has decided to third party them, has decided to backstep them right now. Trying to get a uh, shot, get some shots onto the players who are firing at V Esports. So Tifu is gone. So, yep, here comes the drive through from uh, FSN Reborn. It's gonna be HD and Kavya for V Esports, and they're just gonna fall back out of this area. They have been pretty aggressive uh, on to the first three matches, but going on and Kavia has decided to stop and uh, take a few shots onto the players of FSN, but 
didn't find a connection so he has decided to reposition himself and HD is coming back near Kavya and uh, is, he, is he able to do that? Yep, HD is securing that position, uh, getting more information as well. And we have you see, here we go, RLX Esports taking that fight with ISSL. It'll be interesting to see as yeah, Sana is knocked out and ISSL Mamata is coming here for the rescue. And Destro here is, is pushing Mamata. Mamata is knocked down and here comes the support from Lucifer and Lucifer takes down Destro as well. So, uh, how's it gonna be? It's gonna be a 2v3. RLX has to defend themselves from two members of ISSL and here we go Lucifer takes that off angle Jimmy is knocked out from Vishal it's gonna be a 2v2 right now but Lucifer with that flank gets Dila down so it's gonna be Vishal and Sana they were able to pick up Sana so here we go Lucifer confirms Destro so what Vishal and Sana has to do they, has, they have to take down Lucifer in order to complete this fight Will they be able to take down Lucifer? Let's see. He's smoking. He's smoking everywhere. They're going for the rescue of Dila. They need that man up. So they could go at him again. And here we go. Vishal pushing towards Lucifer. Will he be able to knock him? Vishal. Vishal with that. No, he was not able to complete that 1v1. There comes the cover fire from his teammate. Here we go. Dila now going against Lucifer. Lucifer with just 1 HP. And here we go. Dila takes Lucifer down and Dila is smoking up. He will go for the rescue. He doesn't want to go uh, go at the players of ISSL alone. He's gonna rescue Vishal. Vishal has been very vital towards this fight. And uh, here we go. Razor closing in. Trying to. No, 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 Razor. That was bad timing from Razor. He shouldn't have stopped the vehicle there. He should have just, you know, ran over. And here we go. Vishal trying to heal up. Nope, Jimmy with a knock. It's just Jimmy for ISSL right now and Dila for Alex Sport. Dila is going to fall back. No, Jimmy is taking shots at him right now. Dila stops. Will he be able to get Jimmy right now? No. There we go. Jimmy secures it for ISSL. ISSL survives. So, yes, team number five who has been seeing the fight. They didn't engage, they are falling back, they have decided to play the zone play. So, yes. So, Arlex was going for that early fights, was going for that elim points. So, ISL players were more spread out and uh, they had that area control so they could, you know, rotate and play. But ISL could have wiped out Arlex way earlier but Arlex denied it came down to a 1v1 between Dila and Jimmy and Jimmy was able to um, put a full stop for Arlex for now they are still at table top I believe and here we go Jason gets a knock towards team number 17 BB they are rotating like hell now they don't care who shot them they are just rotating. Oh no! Uh, and there goes another knock as well. It's not a well thought out rotation from uh, KKCBB. It's just like they rotated in front of all the teams. So FSN is trying to come back from those black flash performances from them. They have four animation points. They are going aggressive right now. They're going to push that compound. They're going to knock. They are pushing that. They are not thinking. Uh, they are not having any second thoughts. Just just going for the full send as we can see they secure the point of that play of DXG it's gonna be just two members of for DXG now and FSN has secured themselves inside the circle now with hard cover and a good zone thank you Cosmo trying to get a knock but not really able to do that it was a few HP so yes back inside so yes, coming back to the point table scenario. So even though this match was too soon for them, Marlex would still be on top of the leaderboard. So it will be interesting to see 
which team would be competing rlx for that position since all of the teams are almost the same i would say so let's see how it goes fsn the team from bhutan trying to trying to you know come back get some points so it'll be easy for them to uh, actually grind back on tomorrow so this is going to be the last match for today so teams have to get the maximum points out of this match so you the mindset would be there tomorrow to like we have enough points we could go for the top three positions and uh, get a share of that $150 prize pool you know so yep FSN they are not holding, they are doing whole scout. They are trying to uh, get knocks, get better position into the circle, try to engage with other teams. That's a good approach from them. So, as you can see FSN is moving inside, further into the circle. Trying to... Jimmy gets taken down from a spray. Jimmy is secured. It's gonna be Lucifer. Gonna be looking for the last man surviving for I said. Sen is moving towards to the player of players of KKCBB now. No, no, gets taken down. What was what was FSN planning there? They have come to the edge of the circle. Now they are trying to take a fight with KKCBB right now, with just three members remaining. That was an un, uh, unfortunate thing for Nono. So it would have been a good match for FSN actually, but as we can see, we, they have lost a member and uh, Cosmo has to go inside the circle as well. Oh, he's taking that hard rotation, trying to find a better position into the zone. Trying to find an opening so he could secure himself inside the zone. So he's decided to take the double burn. No one is at the double burn. So it'll be easy for him to um, get back with his teammates, I believe. Nothing interesting happening right now. It's stage four. Every team has secured their positions. Inside the circle, I believe some teams have to move inside the circle as well. But moreover, the aggression has slowed down a bit. Not seeing any uh, any type of action as of now. So Cosmo getting some shots from the players of MacPen. So all three measures. Sri Lankan teams were able to get the chicken dinner. They were able to secure the chicken dinner and top three spots. So I would love to see a MacPen chicken dinner on to the last match of the day. So I, I would love to stay because MacPen is like, they're the OGs, man. They're the OGs from Bhutan, you know. So yeah. And Epicen uh, is holding this. Double burn now. For now. BTS yeah, losing members outside the circle. Not sure if they had a fight or. It's really unfortunate for. Uh, Diva there. Sorry guys, 
it has been a mistake from my side so this is going to be the last match of the tournament actually and uh, to officially say that alex esports is still on top so yep that's a good finish from them so yes let's see if fsn can uh, secure a good position inside the points table so let's see how it goes so yep fsn couldn't do much they had to move outside the circle so Macpen didn't let them move outside the circle, move inside to the circle actually, yeah. So, uh, we have six teams remaining right now, and uh, we have KKC2D taking a fight with some teams, so we have Team number seven pressuring MacPen. So throwing nades, trying to get a knock onto MacPen. Nothing really connects. So Lucifer, the last surviving member of ISSL, knocks one out, but nope. Zirius says nope. <laughs> so Rising Academy has members alive and they have a split inside the circle as well. 2D has to fight through team number 8 to enter the zone. So only one of those two teams would be alive. So yes, team number 7. They are, they are good for now. They have a split. They have the zone, they have the best fleet inside the zone, they have all four members alive as well. So, yeah. So, we have Rising Academy with all four members alive as well. So, let's see how the circle shifts and how these teams would uh, secure the spot in the table. So, back pin. Just three members, they have lost Momo during that drop fight in Rosog. But for now, they have the zone, but for how long? Hates, we have seen good, good uh, sprays from him uh, onto this, onto today's matches. So, yeah. Team number seven. Play from team number seven, trying to sneak inside the zone, trying to take a different angle and uh, get keep other team, other teams. So, Rising Academy. All the teams are just spraying each other and waiting for the circle to decide who would have the upper hand. So we just have to wait and see which team would get the circle, which team has to move on. This is a circle, let's see. Let's wait and see much. Player from Team 7 trying to sneak inside the vicinity of RA. That nade must be good. Is he? No, he just takes away a few HP from the players of RA. Doesn't have any nade. Any more need to go for it? Gets a knock. Gets a knock. This must. This must be it for Rising Academy. Here goes. Here comes the push from the team number seven player. So no, Luffy. Come on. You were just pushing. So yeah, here comes the backup. It would be a little bit late. He's just Luffy for RA. He secures one player or he spray. He's spraying DBS for some reason. And yep. So, Luffy is trying to revive Zirius as well. 
and uh, the zone shifts towards Mac Pen. So Mac Pen has a zone. They have a chance. So let's see how uh, how it goes for Mac Pen. If they would be able to secure a good spot into the points table, as we all know. Uh, yep, team number seven is trying to get a knock onto Mac Pen with the drive through. It's not possible. Mac Pen is just too strong for them. Suddenly, just one man surviving for team number seven. They were going really good, but now they are suffering. Typical Mac Pen. They they are known for their zone control. They are known for coming back on top. Let's see uh, how the circle shifts now. We have 50 seconds. Rising Academy has also decided to engage into this. And we have four teams alive. We have four, all four members of Rising Academy. And they are going against Turia as well. Turia has to move inside the circle. Is it gonna be a Rising Academy? Is it gonna be a Rising Academy on the last match? Let's see what happens. Drax get taken down from Pasta. And Illusio gets knocked from Zirius. And here comes the trade from... Yes. Zirius trying to get the last play of 2D. And he's able to do it. It's gonna be Zirius. The last man standing for Rising Academy. Would he be able to do it? Would he be able to clutch this out? And here we go. Team number 7 is out. It's gonna be a 1v3 for Zidius. Is he, is he gonna take MacPen out of this tournament? Illusio is already knocked. They're not gonna revive him. Are they? Yes. They have taken Illusio. It's gonna be a 1v3 for Zidius. Can he pull this off? Can he pull this off under the last matchup of iOS Shadow? Nope. So here we go. MacPen. MacPen with being typical Mac pen that's that beautiful chicken dinner so yep so yes Bhutan retaliates so they're saying that we also got this so so with 11 elimination points congratulations Mac pen for securing the chicken dinner and rising academy almost had the chicken so Thing. The players from 2D uh, pressured them a bit, so I guess so. So they are finishing in a second place with eight elimination points, and yeah, that's it uh, for the matches. So stay tuned for the results. So results would be really interesting to see since MacPen has also uh, had a comeback now. So it'll be interesting to see which teams would be on the top three. Is it gonna be uh, MacPen or let's see? Uh, let's wait and see how it's gonna be. So yep, that's it for today. We'll catch you back soon with yep. We'll catch you back soon with the results, I guess. So yep, it's the difference. Feel peace.